If you have a series circuit that is part of a larger parallel circuit, like we have here, what you can do is realize that regardless of the path that the charges will follow, they must lose all of the voltage that they start with. So since we start with 3 volts, either loop we take must see them losing 3 volts. So in the top branch, the voltage on the single resistor is 3. We can find the current through this branch by doing I equals V over R. For the bottom branch, we also know that there's a total voltage of 3. We just don't know how it's going to break itself up between these two resistors. So what we can do is add the two resistors together, get the total resistance for this part of the circuit, then do I equals V over R using 3 and using the total for just this part of our circuit. Once we have that, we get the current through this branch of our circuit. We'll call this branch 2. We had already found the current in branch 1. If we needed the total current, we could just add those together in accordance with Kirchhoff's junction rule. Whatever current went into the junction must equal the current that came out of the junction. I1 and I2. Once we have I2, we realize that since there's only a single path now for the electricity to follow in this branch, we can use that I along with each of the two resistances, so first the 92, and solve for the voltage on each of the individual resistors. Once we have the voltage on each of the individual resistors, we can then find the power on each of them by using the current in that branch times the voltage on that resistor.